Good evening, this is Kara Coffey of the Ministry of Uncovered No More. I think it's actually good morning. morning after 12, midnight. It's been very eventful for me personally <laughs> for the past 20 years, but um, I came to realize something that was hard for me to realize this week. And it is about my life, just my own life. It's not about anybody else. I've told several of my children, you know, y'all don't, y'all don't know, really know me because my past being what it, what it was, is a completely separate journey from the beauty of my family. I don't know how I feel about that. But one of the things that took me a long time to come to grips with I was just telling somebody today, this is this is all women. And it doesn't matter the color, and you, you cannot understand this as a man, because it was a, a man that I was telling this to. You cannot understand this, and I'm sorry, you know, I'm sorry. This is just I think a lot of men feel like they can identify, but they really cannot. And and he understood what I was saying, but there's just a mechanism of control, particularly if you've been a Christian at a very young age didn't really break free from it which has been the case for me I couldn't motion towards that when with, with both my parents or one even one of my parents alive it's how that went <laughs> um, so <clears throat> There were many years after my brother died that I didn't think about how much I missed him. When I was having children, which was a 17 year process, occasionally I would get punched in the spiritual stomach, so to speak. that Uncle Patrick wasn't here for my children because he was he's a good man and and I just know something deeply about my brother because of the way he was he wasn't going to stay in Christianity he wasn't going to do it which means I don't know what I would have done because my parents were pretty large in my life and my Christianity was very large in my life, so. I don't know what I would have done if that had happened. It, it was really best for him to go the way he did and I think he knew that. But what hit me again in the stomach, <laughs> spiritually, past three days is that I just know my brother and I know that I wouldn't have been controlled the way I was, particularly by my mother, by some others, had he been alive all this time. He would not have let it happen to me. And, and I've had to come to grips with how alone I actually have felt in this world. How much duty and love I have been required. And how many women 
are still there. So, I'm, I'm, I am to the point, and I know that rune stones really help me here, um, that I understand the process of pain a little better in my own life, and I hope that blesses someone in today. Because it's really hard to find purpose when it's mainly duty in your life, isn't it? I will share with you that my coloring, my adult coloring, and uh, now sometimes the small, small painting works and uh, my work with poetry and other books and in bookmaking helps me in a way that nothing else could have to to let my, my artistic side free and it's taken time and it's taken determination to do that didn't even know that part of my life existed and that's the way Christian religion is uh, and I and fault me, I, I think I fault myself sometimes about how devout I actually have been. But honestly, with what my family was going through, I think I had to be. I don't think there's any other way to have made it out. And I've said that before. So I say all that to say, ladies, try to pick something up. I don't care if it's just a small journal and you go sit and watch trees. <laughs> Listen to a whole album of music and just write it down. I did this with myself. I keep doing something. It helps. Quiet the soul and bring the reality of, of how special we are to the forefront, regardless of what we're going through. What do I do with realizations like that? I mourn them. And then I walk on and I appreciate a new life. And I'm privileged to be able to say that. So many, many people have to stay in a station of life that, that they really shouldn't have to stay in. And, and I'm being blessed with the privilege of a different opportunity. And I just am saying, realizing, saying, Well, I took about quote unquote poverty. What I meant was stop wanting so much. Stop regretting how dull actually my life is. And see the beauty. And um, I had done that before. It was the past few weeks with what I'm going through. I've had to remind myself. It really is okay. Do simply be a part of the goodness and greatness of purpose that we are. And I hope this encourages someone to look back and not be ashamed if you have to cry for a while and in seasons for what the loss that is there. And as you move on to do things and to be willing to spend time with ourselves in a way that helps us awake to our loveliness. This is Kara Coffey of the Ministry of Uncovered No More.